Hi all, I have another absolutely fascinating Leela chess game. This is against Stockfish 7, Leela ID 507 from David Grosvenor. Very fast time control, 1 minute for 40 moves. And uh, Leela's on a GTX 1060 graphics card. Stockfish 7 on a 2.8 GHz 4 CPU setup. Let's have a look. Knight f3, Knight f6. C4, these are the book moves given to the engines. And we're exploring today the King's Engine Defense. This is the last book move given. Leela castles here, not mining. E5. So White doesn't go for that. That'll, that uh, There's a Fisher game example where it's not so good to do this in any case. Uh, so uh, later D6 could undermine White's center. So White keeps the center intact for a moment, doesn't play E5 rather. And now D6. Bishop e2, e5. So we go into the classical variation of the king's engine. But now actually Petrosian system in particular, this early d5. And I love the king's engine myself. And Fisher used to play this position quite a bit. a5, this is looks like a very sensible idea to get a knight into c5 without b4. So a very sensible positional play move, which an experienced uh, king's engine player would, would use. Bishop e3. And now knight g4. This is looking like a standard idea to harass that bishop. f6, bishop drops back, and now knight h6. White castles, knight a6, knight d2. So this knight goes to c5, knight b3. And now another very, very useful idea just to be able to capture on c5 to open the b file rather than use the d pawn. And in fact, white plays that knight takes c5. B takes. So even though uh, maybe technically the engines like some engines, traditional engines might like this doubling of pawns. Um, there's compensation here. It's a very solid position. And black has still kingside attack prospects in this particular position once this pawn's unpinned. F3, we have knight F7. Bishop D3, and actually very interesting move here, bishop H6. So quite often this diagonal is useful to get onto this diagonal uh, for the King's Engine player. That stopped actually any check prospects. But now, Bishop G5, yeah, trying to weaken white on the light squares is also another traditional, you know, positional method. Uh, with all these pawns on the light squares, the dark squares are slightly weakened. So exchanging off the dark square bishops would be welcome here. Now, white avoids that. Uh, on taking, maybe in fact, taking with the knight might be best. And try and provoke something like h4 because this this looks like a nice position for black. But actually, that was avoided. Bishop f2. Now f5 here. Yeah. Now that that's kind of been unpinned. F5 is available. E takes. This is slightly controversial from Stockfish, I believe. Maybe it's not factoring in uh, that black can really reconfigure around this pawn structure. In this particular pawn structure, that semi-open G file can be potentially dangerous for White's king safety. And I was looking at this. Uh, we're we're going to have a look at uh, coming up. There's a very, very interesting move to discuss. White plays here actually rook f1, which seems already a little bit on the passive side. Uh, but now this very, very interesting move, knight h8. Now there's actually a classic game, Nimzovich against Akiba Rubinstein. Uh, which Raymond Keane in particular in the annotations uh, at Chess Gamescom is raving about. Because, and he's tried to use it apparently in his, a lot of his own games once he saw it in that Nimzovich Rubenstein game. And uh, commentators of that game around 2010 said the engines have difficulties finding moves like this. This is around 2010 because the mobility of the knights even further reduced. But of course, it's the longer term prospects coming out to G6 here. Which, which totally justifies this maneuver. Of course, the f pawn is also more supported against the queen c2 by the rook. But the knight is better placed basically on g6 here. So a nice rerouting via knight h8. Nice positional play from, from Leela. Bishop c2. This again is slightly controversial. If the bishop was on e2, then this diagonal is a bit safer. And we're going to see that could be a major issue soon. Uh, later in the game, the bishop being here rather than here. Lula in other, another King's Engine game we saw was quick to exploit a bishop here rather than here with b5, but bishop here rather than here 
there's this diagonal which is less secure positionally secure in a way knight g6 so a nice reroute it looks like already a very promising king's engine style position with very little to worry about on the queen side instead of in terms of the pawn structure being undermined which it often is bishop a4 this looks like an artificial move many traditional engines would would play just trying to seize these light squares but are they actually doing anything rook b8 queen c2 rook f7 the rook is not only defending c7 it's it's got the versatility here to potentially attack with rook g7 later that looks like a very standard king's engine move b3 and also of course the nifty thing about rook f7 is revealed here the parking space on f8 can be used with the queen so a lovely queen f8 is possible now and the queen can even now go to h6 and already you can see pressure mounting both on h2 potentially and g2 later which makes for a very dangerous position indeed now already this is very very dangerous king h1 queen h6 so with c7 protected as well this is becoming an ideal attacking uh brew of pieces here around white's king and in fact this bishop wants to get into the party now with this bishop on a4 uh it looks as though stockfish might be underperforming here even at this fast time limit having the bishop on a4 because the relevance of this for this diagonal is massively reduced and in fact this is important to try and open up another line to the king not just this one this one but also this diagonal uh, would complete the set of three basically on, on to increase the worries about king safety for white and we have a move which really opens up potentially this diagonal which is e4 trying to break open the diagonal uh, it is a strong position in any case so in fact even f4 which you might think is anti-positional might even be okay here at this stage it's still dangerous for white but this this is much more uh, attacking actually in terms of opening lines because the idea is not to to take on e4 it's a nice pawn sack with f4 now normally i'd use this just to get the e5 square but here there's another idea which is even greater priority here this bishop has been also liberated now with this bishop on a4 as i mentioned Leela really picks up where the opponent's bishops are and seems to tap into the achilles hills which basically is it's just made much more effective with the bishop on a4 we have bishop g4 now with a gigantic simple threat idea of f3 and there's really nothing white can do in this position if you look at the piece called nation of black it's absolutely wonderful look at all these attacking pieces on the side of the board white's pieces are just doing nothing here basically i mean pointless we have knight a7 okay the knight's going to centralize a bit more but so what even if it goes to c6 f3 it's already it's looking totally lost for white g takes f3 is played and now Leela doesn't even entertain the possibility uh, of an exchange sack with bishop takes f3 because that would allow an exchange sack she just well she builds up this way just doubling the rooks white's just in a lost position already basically this is a desperate move e5 rook takes f3 rook fd1 and now just this move threatens the huge bishop f3 check the queen would have to interpose there we have rook d3 but now bishop f5 just going onto this diagonal via e4 with the bishop on g1 this makes this even more you know crushing basically <laughs> queen e2 bishop e4 check white well, just has to give up the queen and of course it's totally lost here there's nothing for white really to do and the attack even just carries on here so knight c3 bishop takes h2 crushing bishop d d7 rook h4 bishop e6 it was adjudicated as a win for black here it's absolutely crushing position once for example a rook f2 happens it's well or rook h2 it's, it's just going to be uh mating yeah 
our shocking King's Engine smooth attacking game there from Leela, showing some very uh, nice ideas which experienced King's Engine players would get used to playing like this rook f7, like trading on off dark square bishops. The queen maneuver to h6 was very, very nice. Uh, playing e4 right at you know the right time to open up, trying to open up the diagonal against the king. Very nice attacking chess indeed. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as me. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.